So during the first production run, which was about 150 units, um, there was a slight uh, miscalculation on the bore in the carriage wing bar. And I just wanted to point this out. So the, the carriage wing bar, which is identified as being 20 inches long or 508 millimeters, it has four, uh, you can identify it with four uh, bores through. Um, and th this, these two inner bores, one and two, should be open to seven, should be a seven millimeter diameter or nine thirty seconds. And in fact, they will not accept the quarter twenty uh, two inch pan head bolt. So what we'll have to do is we're gonna we're gonna bore out these two to nine thirty seconds. And um, so I'm gonna take that and bore it out to nine thirty seconds and this one as well. And I'm going to do that for both carriage wing bars. And notice now that that will now accept the quarter the quarter 22 inch bolt so we can secure the wing bar down to the wheel plate. Uh, that, so that is a mistake that you will notice if you were one of the first 150 to receive the X-Winder 2. So uh, please go ahead and bore those out to a seven millimeter diameter or about nine thirty seconds. Okay, now that we've bored that out, we're going to put on the two um, vertical posts, one to the first, uh, the front bore, and the second one to the to the rear bore. Okay. Then we're going to take the two inch quarter 20 pan head and notice the plate with the um, with the notch goes forward. Two inch bolt goes through. We take a spacer on the bottom and that goes right into the wheel plate. We need a Phillips to do that. We'll just sort of secure it because we do have a rear. So this is the aft carriage plate which will install um, as shown and we will want to get a PVC roller so here's in there. The roller so let's support. This is the aft carriage plate. So let's put that on through. Down through the wing bar and we do have a this is a half inch spacer and then right on into the wheel plate okay so that's sort of loosely installed loosely installed we'll do the same now for the right carriage okay. wing bar We'll tighten this one up. So this basically is the structural frame of the carriage assembly and everything else will attach. Okay we're now going to install the belt clamp plate and to do that we're going to take a double T-nut, slide it on in. And this is the belt clamp plate and we'll secure that to the double T-nut and this one as well. This belt clamp plate will secure the end of the carriage drive belt to the side of the carriage assembly. We'll do the same over here. Install the double T-nut and the belt clamp plate. Okay. So we'll go ahead and install the two delivery roller supports both in the rear. This is the left one. and the right one and 
we have the clamp down plate uh, that we've already talked about with the doctor blade. There's a separate video that discusses this doctor blade and the benefits of the doctor blade, which is merely a mechanism to remove excess glue. Doctor blade is typically referred to in a, in a printer uh, that removes excess ink from the printhead. So this is the same concept. Um, I am now affixing the, well, let's um, obviously put in the resin bath first. So let me pull that off. The resin bath, and no, I'm going to put, go ahead and install a roller, which I'm going to clamp down into it. The rollers are actually a bit oversized, and this is on purpose. And when I say oversized, I mean in length, so that you can um, slightly sand them down to uh, the distance that will fit. Uh, if they were already undersized, that would be, um, so I'm going to put in the resin bath. They were, they're intentionally oversized, just by several millimeters. Um, okay, so now I'm going to put the clamp down plate on top of the resin bath. Um, and I'm using these black thumb screws to secure the clamp down okay, plate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and install the rear delivery roller with the, this is a 3 inch 10 30 seconds stainless bolt. This is a nylon lock nut. I can almost just hand torque that. These are PVC, by the way, PVC rollers. The PVC is very resistant to any kind of chemical, um, maybe uh, one of the most resistant plastics to any kind of a chemical uh, such as epoxy. So um, that basically is the, um, the carriage. Let's go ahead and install the drive belt. So this is a half inch wide L for large drive belt. It goes around the carriage stepper motor gear beneath the carriage, so between the wheel plate and the long bar, obviously all the way down to the right carriage post and the gear around the gear. And let's, in, let's install it um, into the clamp down plate. So let's bring it from the bottom. We'll come up from the bottom. You want to um, wind out the bolts sort of as far as you can to get a big enough gap to allow the okay the belt to slide through the clamp down plate. And so let's there it is. So notice I am going to move or position the clamp down belt, the clamp down plate to be right in the middle and linear width, which it is now with the carriage stepper motor gear. And I'm just going to press fit that and clamp it on down. Now, I'm going to give the belt a bit of tension and I can do that by pulling. So let's get it through the other clamp down plate. This is not always the easiest. So we'll want to wind out the bolts to give us enough gap so that we can fit the belt through the plate. Bring it up through the plate. Now, uh, just a sec. So that obviously slipped. Yes, that obviously slipped. Can't get ahead of myself here, which I have a tendency to do sometimes. Okay, now. Okay, now again, I'm going to align that belt right down the center of the rear long bars. I'm going to now give it as much tension a good amount of tension and hold it in place while I clamp it down to the side of the carriage wing bar. I'm going to take the extra belt and just sort of bring it down the side of the carriage wing bar and secure it to the side. 
Now the length of the belt that ships with the kit is 18 feet. So 18 feet divided by 2 is 9 and then of course you need some excess so in general you can get an 8 foot long X winder with the belt that ships that is 18 feet long. If you want to go longer or have a longer X winder you'll need to purchase additional L belt. Now notice the tension in the belt. Um, I can adjust that obviously by pulling through the clamp down plate and making it tighter or looser. But in general it's not too tight and it's not too loose. Uh, if it were too loose then obviously the belt would sag, the teeth would intertwine and you'd have a much bigger problem. Also notice that you've got perhaps a half inch there between the belt. The belt literally slides on the top of the long bar and it goes under the plate under the wheel plate. Also notice that the bottom of the gear of the carriage stepper gear and the belt are literally at the same level. So the belt is in fact intended to slide right along and slide collinear with the rear long bars. So the carriage assembly is now f mostly complete what we'll install next is the delivery head and the reel holder and we will be complete then with the carriage assembly.